Oh, hey, I'm back. It's July 3rd. We've got George's Bronco right here. We repacked the wheel bearings um, Saturday? Friday. Friday, yeah. And uh, we decided to go with the manual hubs instead of the auto hubs. So we were waiting for those to come in because he ordered them Saturday. And they said they wouldn't be here till Monday. So it's now Tuesday. So this is what he got. He's got the mile marker hubs. Okay, he's got the conversion kit because you need to take this bearing adjuster nut off and replace it with this bearing adjuster nut, this little ring that locks it in place and then this locking nut on top of it. And here's just a quick breakdown of what we did besides packing the wheel bearings and putting new seals on there. He went from the auto hub. See the auto hub here? Factory auto hub. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I looked around at some other auto hubs while I was out at the junkyard, wrecking yard. I saw a lot of five bolt auto hubs, but no three bolts like this. So I thought that was kind of unusual. Don't know. First time I ever paid attention. So, just for your own information, yeah, there's a three bolt. Here's the inside, okay, comes in several pieces, how does this work, I really don't know. Something like that, yeah. The problem with these is that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So this is basically what it is. Here's the part you got to change for the conversion kit. This is it. Uh, this is the bearing adjuster nut. And it fits in these once everything's together, just like that. So when you convert over a manual, you got to get rid of this. So. so when you convert over to the manual, you get something like this. New bearing adjuster nut. It's got the little tab on there. Except this one's broke off. That's why this is an extra one. I've had to replace one. This locking ring. This locks up with the little notch on the spindle shaft. So once you tighten this up to the proper torque, torque your bearings, adjust your bearings, and you put this on, it lines up with your shaft, and the little holes here line up with the little tab that's on there that locks it in and you put the nut on top of that tight this down my book says 160 to 205 pounds there your bearings are in so I'm taking this one apart that slides off of there take that out put that over there get your little pick little ring pick and uh, work around the inside till you find the end yeah till you find the end of the uh, ring there's a locking ring in there there we go one hand to take that ring out because you're not going to need it because the new kit comes with one so we'll put that over here with the old stuff and then the hub comes out Okay, there's the old hub. This is auto hub. We cleaned them all up. We were going to reuse them, but um, he decided to go with the new and improved. So you take that out. Now, inside of that. Inside of that, yeah. There's another locking. There's another, uh, another ring you got to take out. It's like a seat clip. Is this thing focused? I can't tell. Alright, see that? Yeah. It's like a seat clip right there. It's on the axle shaft. You gotta take that out of there. Pop that in there. That clip's on the axle, so that's off of there. I'm gonna put that over here. There, it goes over there too. Okay, now you can take these other little rings out of here. Okay. You got it. It's a, like a friction washer after that. And then another 
thin metal washer. The one in between is like a plastic washer, so we'll just call that a friction washer. Yeah, now you can take out the other piece of the hub, which is this piece. Now this is part of the auto hub. See that? I don't know what this is called, but this is part of your auto hub mechanism there. And you're going to get rid of that too. So that goes over there. This actually goes on the auto hub like that. See that? See that? Okay. So that goes like that. And then... Don't tell me... Oh. And then, <laughs> talking about to yourself again. <laughs> and then you got a little bitch of a ring in here that will give everybody trouble when it's way back in there. It fits in this groove right here, and it keeps the jester nut from backing out of there. So that can be a little pain to get out of there. All right, here's something you might want to take a look at. A careful look at. <clears throat> This bearing adjuster nut gets locked in by this little ring right here. See that? Goes in this little slot and it also lines up with the slot on the spindle. That's why it's a little fatter on this end here. That goes in just like that. Once you get your bearing adjusted, you put this ring in there. And that fits in there just like that, yeah. Flush, setting right. <clears throat> Don't hit it with the socket till you get it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah. All right, now you can take that nut off, the bearing adjusting nut, which looks just like this one. See? Oh, back out, yeah. Okay, there's your burn adjusting nut. Takes a special socket that not everybody has. Oops. So there you have it. There's your bearings there, there. They're all greased up. Now I gotta put the. Steve. Is that a slap ring or what is it? Slap ring. You gotta put the new bearing adjusting nut in and it's the one with the little dimple on it. See the little knob? See that? Yeah. Gotta make sure it goes in like that. Ten, yeah. Yeah. Alright, back together. Alright, here we go. Manual hubs. These are manual hubs. See it says right here? Lock free. These are these you got to get out of the car and lock the hubs. So this is what this looks like inside. It's real simple. When you turn the dial, it pushes this inside gear. See that inside? Locks the two halves in place, the outside and the inside and onto your axle. Your axle's on the inside, the wheel's on the outside. Engage, that's all it is, it slips in gear. Slops out of gears. Slips, slops, yeah. So this is what you're changing. You're changing this, the manual hub, to the auto, yeah. You're changing the auto hubs to the manual hub.